Frontline healthcare workers have been treating patients under extraordinary conditions during the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah, conditions like overcrowded ICUs, staffing shortages, and intense burnout. Well, tonight, KSL investigator Daniela Rivera explains why all of this could lead to looming liability. Daniela? Well, doctors and nurses have shouldered some of the highest risk in this pandemic. But when it comes to who can be served with a lawsuit related to COVID-19, you might be surprised to know who has legal protection and who does not. I was terrified. The enemy was invisible. My husband is a physician. He's an intensivist. The fighters, doctors, and nurses. He's one of those people that runs towards danger when the rest of us run away from it. Like Tanil Brown's husband, Dr. Chuck Reddy. Well, he went to New York in 2020 when they were overwhelmed. With no sure weapon, not even a proper shield. They were giving them garbage bags for PPE, and um, he wasn't vaccinated then, so that was a much riskier time. A year and a half later, we have safe and effective vaccines, but hospitals are overwhelmed and understaffed as COVID-19 cases surge. They're working in a war zone. This is a war zone. Brown doesn't worry about her husband contracting COVID from sick patients anymore, but as an attorney and a health law professor at University of Utah, she does anticipate an uptick in legal battles related to COVID. You make mistakes when you're tired, you make mistakes when you're stressed, when you, you make mistakes when you're being asked to do things with fewer resources. When mistakes are made and they're inevitably made, people are angry and people want to place that blame somewhere. There aren't many options for people seeking accountability after a public health crisis. The government, politicians, even businesses, they have immunity. And now, even though unvaccinated people account for the majority of COVID patients needing ICU beds, you can't sue them. Brown says that leaves one obvious group still standing. It, the one group who has no immunity and who could be sued are physicians and healthcare providers who are doing what they're doing because it's their job. It has been a very challenging environment to work in. Dr. John uh, Boltax is a pulmonologist the on the COVID front line. Here he is during the early days of the pandemic when he also volunteered in New York. He and says the possibility the of being sued comes with the territory, but it's not something he lets himself think about while he's treating patients. Um, we have worked very hard to care for people during the pandemic, and we continue to do that, and we will continue to do that. And it would obviously be upsetting if we were you know, then sued at the end of this. According to Brown, medical malpractice and negligence suits often name anyone and everyone who laid eyes on the patient. She said hospitals are insulated by insurance policies that typically cover the nurses too, but physicians can be sued individually. There are huge bullseyes on the backs of doctors. I think it's going to be difficult to win on that type of a claim against a medical professional that's doing their best to treat COVID patients or any other patients. Utah Republican Senator Kirk Colomore, who was also an attorney, sponsored the legislation that now protects Utah businesses from being held liable for COVID transmission. But when it comes to medical professionals, he says he trusts the courts to toss out lawsuits based on circumstances health care workers can't control. They're understaffed or they don't have the supplies that they need or the drugs that they need then that all comes into play and that's not going to be held against the medical professionals. But even if the claim is dismissed, doctors still have to list lawsuits on licensing applications. And what about the patients and their families who do experience substandard care because the health care system is overwhelmed? Do they have any other recourse or is it just too bad it is what it is? Unfortunately, under the law, sometimes it's too bad. It is what it is. They usually lose these cases. In just exploring this from both sides, patient and physician, it just seems like no one is winning. That's right. And it's because of failed political leadership. Representative Colomore disagrees. Uh, by all metrics, Utah's done very well in addressing this pandemic, both from health uh, perspective as well as the economic perspective. A battle over politics and blame isn't something doctors like Boltax want to be caught up in. People are dying that don't have to die. He faults misinformation. Nearly every COVID patient he sees in the ICU is unvaccinated. We don't see how this is uh, coming to an end anytime soon. As for the legal ramifications of what they're up against now, this particular war zone was almost entirely preventable. Brown worries those on the front lines will find themselves targets by default. 
Twice now during the pandemic, there have been bipartisan efforts in Congress to limit liability for health care workers. Those bills haven't gotten far. In Utah, the window to file a medical malpractice suit is two years. Brown says it takes time to find an attorney and investigate the merits of a claim. She says she expects to see claims pick up in the next six months to a year. Mike? Yeah, you can certainly understand the concern. Anyone working 18 plus hours a day, I mean, I don't care what the profession is, it's going to be difficult to be on your A game. Absolutely. All right, Danielle, great report. Thank you.